Putting together high quality student media is a complicated team effort and there's a boatload of information involved. A staff manual can answer questions and help keep your publication running smoothly. There's no one right way to create a staff manual. Each staff should tailor theirs to suit their staff, their publication, and their community. That said, I'm going to say that there are four important things to include and three optional elements. A good first area to cover is the roles and responsibilities for your publication for the coming year. Name the position and then explain what responsibilities go with it. I think it's a cool idea to also include what qualities someone in that role should have ideally. Here's an example. The next element to include is the how-to section, the processes used to create your publication. This is the classic section that a staff can look to when they don't know how to do something. It should cover anything that writers, editors, and photographers need to know to do their job. Everything from what to include in a slug, to standard format for creating social media posts, to how to organize your photo archives or post stories to your website. And this leads naturally to the next area, a style guide for your publication. Most student pubs use AP Style as their base. Many staff manuals include common things from AP Style that writers need, like dates, titles, numbers, and sports statistics, how or when to use titles, what gets capitalized when, and so on. Some of this will be in-house standards, and if your publication does something different from AP Style, you should definitely have it in your style guide. You should include things like photo credits, how you refer to your publication. Being consistent is the key. And then there are conventions specific to your school, like the way you refer to the driveway where the buses pick up students. Is it the front circle or the bus circle? And is it capitalized? You want to be consistent. I think the last key thing to include is some resources that staff might need. This can be everything from links to helpful websites to staff phone numbers if you do that. And if you have templates for InDesign or other software, you can have links to find those in here too. Some links might be to sites or videos that teach how to do certain things like, say, this video series. There are a few other things you might want to include as options. These are often standalone documents, but some programs include them in the staff manual too, so staff have easy access to them. We have a separate video on policy manuals here. If you don't have a staff manual, it's never too late to create one. You can start small and add stuff as you see the need. And if you have one but haven't revised it lately, it'd probably be a good project to look at. I suggest doing it annually, maybe in the late spring or summer. For the Scholastic Press Rights Committee, I'm Trip Robbins.